Welcome aboard again a wonderful community. Now today's video we are going to be seeing these two major type of transitioning. We have the cut type of transitioning and we have the bit matching type of transitioning. So these two transitioning methods are very very important but one thing you need to do here is you first need to ask yourself how do you introduce the incoming track? That is very very important because how you introduce the incoming track really matters. We are going to be seeing how I do this little demonstration that you see from the beginning of this video. Remember as a DJ having that mind of putting all these pieces together is very very important and before you're able to do that the first thing you need to do there is you need to know at what point do you set your whole cube like in this case you can see the two beats are flowing smoothly without any issue with each other so we are going to be seeing at what point do you set the whole cube and how do we do that so i'm going to mute one of the beat first for now so first you need to set the hot cube in this case this is the hot cue for the first track. You can see where I set it. So this is hot cue one. And for the second track, this is the hot cue one. I'm going to start it so that I get to see. I, but I don't know what she is. This is for the deck one. So you can see it actually started at a hit point. That means um, there's a starting point where the beat starts. So I actually identified the starting point. That is the first beat of the two tracks. That is where I set the hot cue. That is using control one to do that. Then how do we introduce the incoming track or how do we start the track for the transition? Whether we want to participate, whether we want to do the beat matching process of having the two tracks synchronizing or want to do just a sudden flip, that means a sudden switch from one track to another. First, you need to have a clear setting of your mapping, just as I've said severally, if you are just coming across the channel, what I'm saying now is no longer new for you. In this case, I have my letter H that introduces the hot cue dz it's very simple so we want to develop a style now to start we now know that our q1 start it normally we also have our letter p this letter p is a kind of hot cue type of style but in this case it has its own unique flavor which means it's going to be adjusting the key of a track that means it's going to be changing the pitch of the track moving the semitone that means it's going to be moving the harmonic key from one sound to another. If you watch my video where I talked about the harmonic keys of a track, this thing should be familiar with you now. So this is it. You can see how the tone is changing. Then I want to bring it down, Control P. So you see, I'm bringing it down. Then the J and this one ensures, the J and the H ensures that you start the track at a zero key. It brings it back to the normal key so that your song will not go awkward. There you see both of them this one and this one they have similar features just that there is a little adjustment on some few things so you can check it on the mapping so we are going to start we are going to introduce a style now we have i'll i'll start this one with one then followed by this one three times so i'm starting this one one that means i'll take the pitch up one step then i'll bring the back to zero then i'll take the pitch three step upward again that is one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five but in this case i'm going to be doing it very fast just look at it so after i did that i just drop use this same one he later hit to drop the song then i'll now go to the second deck in this case i'm going to be introducing the same style again but in this case i'll just flip it to the next track what key does that is the letter g don't worry if this is an update for those of you who are having my mapping you should expect some of this adjustment very close so that it can make it very very easy for you to do this on the keyboard so look at it look at it so you can see the demonstration how i just flip from the first track to the other track very simple easy and straightforward then if we want to beat match we introduce the same process the only thing there is instead of flipping using the letter g we just maintain the letter h just watch So you can see how everything went smoothly, very simple and straightforward. I'm sure you enjoyed it. 
So at this point, we are said we can introduce any other team on the second track or each of the track, any of the track that we want to end. Now we can decide to end it using filters. We can decide to end it using echoes. We can decide to use it any other feature that we want, whether hot cues and the rest of them. So possibly, I'm going to be looking at using loops in my subsequent video. I get to appreciate these things as I get to do them here. I'm sure you really drive value in this video. Don't forget to keep a date and if I continue to bring you more information, more updates and more fun. So catch you in my next video as we move forward.